In this video, I'll be reviewing Synology's B Drive, which is their personal data keeper and backup hub. The B Drive ships in a protective box and includes the B Drive unit itself, which essentially is a portable SSD. It also comes with a USB C to C cable, a USB C to A adapter, and a quick start guide. For setup, you'll want to connect the B Drive to a Windows computer that is connected to the internet. Once connected, you'll need to run the B Drive installer, which is conveniently provided as a file on the B Drive unit itself, and install the B Drive for Windows desktop application. After the application is installed, you can launch it to start setting up your B Drive. You'll need to sign in with your Synology account, then when done, you can do further setup such as backing up your computer setting up file syncing between your computer and the B drive, as well as connect your iOS or Android device to your B drive to be able to back up your photos. Mobile transfer also allows you to B drop files from your device to your B drive, which works similarly to AirDrop in the Apple environment. To set up a computer backup, make sure the option is selected, then click continue. You'll then be able to select the folders you would like to back up from your Windows profile under the default section, or choose specific folders to back up under the custom section. I'll choose the video folder in my setup, then select next and backup now to start up the backup process. I can then select the computer backup section to see the details of the backup and edit the backup configuration as well. The next option that is available with B Drive is File Sync, which synchronizes files between folders on the B Drive itself and your computer. I'll set this up by clicking on Start, select the default option, then click Next and Sync Now to complete the setup. Now I'll test how File Sync works by bringing up the folder that B Drive created under my Windows profile, create a test file, add some content to it, and save the changes. I'll then bring up the B drive, navigate to the sync folder on the device, and open the test file, which we can see is the exact file that I just edited under my Windows profile. I'll edit the file again, but this time on the B drive itself. Then back in my Windows profile, I'll open the file, and we can see that the file is now synced with the changes that I made on the B drive. Note that two-way sync is configured by default, but you can configure syncing the way you would like, as well as further customize the setup to your specific needs. Under Mobile Transfer, I'll click on Start. Then from the B Drive app on my device, which is an iPhone in my case, I'll scan the QR code to pair with the B Drive for desktop application. Once the pairing is complete, I can start backing up my photos either now or later from within the app. I can also B drop files, photos, and movies from my mobile device to the B drive for easy access on the PC that the B drive is attached to. You'll also be able to install B drive on another Windows PC where you can create a computer backup for that PC as well. Also, mobile devices that you've already set up can continue to backup photos and B drop files. And this works remotely as well, so your mobile device can send files to your B drive even when they aren't on the same network. So what are my thoughts on Synology's B drive? I think it's great for a user that has multiple devices to back up or sync files between. And I really like the B drive feature because it allows Android and iOS devices to easily share files with Windows PCs. B drop and file syncing are likely what I'll use my B drive for the most going forward. What I don't think is that a B drive replaces a Synology NAS. It doesn't have a bare metal backup option or the ability to share files like you would in a network setting. And currently no Mac OS support, which is something I'm personally looking forward to have in the future. B drive has its place and would be a nice complement for individuals that would like an additional backup or syncing device. 
So what do you think about Synology's B drive? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Also, if you are planning to purchase a B drive, and if this review helped, consider using the Amazon affiliate links in the description below, which sends a small commission my way at no additional cost to you. Thanks so much for watching.